him not have me on camera. Did you say I'm staring in your windows? Did you really say that? Well, he did. I watched him walk up and point his camera into every window. Yeah. I just want to stare at you. You just want to stare at me? Yeah. I'd prefer you don't. No, I'm gonna. Okay, you guys. No photos. No photos? No photos. How's it going, guys? I'm against it press, and we are coming to you today from Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, we are at the Black Hills Federal Credit Union here in Rapid City, and we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. I am out with Watching the Watchman today, who is walking down the sidewalk across the street. And uh, reason I am not doing my usual uh, smiling face on camera for my intro is there is a very busy ice cream place right next door here. And a lot of people staring at us trying to figure out what's going on. So I'm just trying to lay low here and uh, not be out on the corner waving the camera in front of my own face and attracting a lot of attention. Because um, we're hoping to get you a good organic uh, audit today here. So uh, let me give you a look around the neighborhood while I'm standing here real quick. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. It is 2.26 in the afternoon, and it is 70 degrees, partly cloudy, partly sunny, all depends on how you look at those things, here in Rapid City, South Dakota. I uh, hope you're all having a good day. Hope you're uh, spending some time with some people you can tolerate, and uh, hope maybe you have a little sunshine where you are, and if you're not, I invite you to create your own. Um, this should be an interesting one, guys. Stand by. Sheriff is supposed to stop for people in the crosswalk and uh, decided not to, so. Interesting way to start. So uh, we've done some audits in uh, Rapid City area before and uh, mixed reactions and mixed results. So uh, again, it should be interesting to see how this one goes here today. Um, I don't have any expectations one way or the other and uh, just keeping a very open mind and uh, very objective attitude here. Let me give you a little close up of the bank credit union and I'll get you a shot of the sign here as well Did you see the sheriff's vehicle fail to yield for my uh, pedestrian self in the crosswalk there? Uh -huh. Blew right past me. Not surprising. No. And uh, just so you guys know, since I didn't show myself in the beginning of the video, we had some custom shirts printed up. We're going to start doing that kind of thing and uh, just wearing them on the audits. And I just, uh, you know, try to have a little sense of humor. And uh, some folks will get it, some never will. Sorry? I can't even hear you. I don't want, please do not have me on camera. You do not have my permission. So you start talking into the camera when you don't want to be on camera? That's foolish. And I don't need your permission. Some silly logic you have there, but have a better day. Boy, here we go immediately. Okay, for what? You can't solicit, and that's part of it, so... Do you know the definition of soliciting? Well, why are you taking video? I don't know, continue talking to him, I don't... 
I'm not going to entertain that kind of thought. Well, I don't want my stuff on the internet or on the TV, so we ask that you keep our members private. I'm sorry? Well, you have a shirt, and you guys are standing out front taking videos and pictures of our members. Well, you're staring at all of our windows, taking pictures and videos. There you go, elaborating on it. Our members are, have private information, so I ask that... Did you say? Did you say I'm staring in your windows? Did you really say that? Well, he did. I watched him walk up and point his camera into every window. On a public sidewalk. Well, yeah, you can. It's and a do you do sidewalk. you guys post your members' private information in the windows? No, but they have computers in there with private information. Well, really, and you think that's what we're doing? Well, it looks like what you're doing. Can right you to the negative. Can right you to the negative. Explain to me what you're doing. I might have if you came out with a different attitude. You didn't even introduce well, yourself. I, I have no idea who I'm speaking I with. I watched a member walk out and ask you guys not to post her stuff and get mad and I watched you yell at her. Right, I don't so, know what you said. All right, but... so you know what? I'm going to entertain your thought. Watch how this works. I'm going to ask you to go away. Okay. The sidewalk See, is a See, I just saw place. you not do it. Yeah, the sidewalk's a public place. Say that again. It, the sidewalk is a public place, End but the building and the information and our members are all private. Well, I'm filming your building right now, so I hope you don't have any private info out here. I really I know, would... but I will call dispatch if you don't leave and stop. You can call anybody you want to call. That's up to you. Wow, she's gonna. You want to. You want to hear the best part? She's gonna go call in, call the cops because a, you were taking pictures of the building, and b, you have a shirt on. Yeah, you have a shirt. You're He's got a nice shirt too. Let me see shirt. that shirt. Yeah, look at our new shirts. Very cool. Man, what have we been here? Literally, I'm gonna give you an exact amount of time we've been here. Eight minutes. So she came out about seven minutes after we got here. I probably spent two or three minutes on the corner there, so literally within minutes. Because one of her members came out and said that they did not want to be filmed. And that was fantastic. Did you see when uh, I said to her, all right, so I'm going to ask you to go away then? And she goes, no, I can stand here. It's a public street sidewalk. <laughs> wow, really? Really? Wow. I mean, think about that. Let that sink in. Rights for thee, but not for me. Amazing. So she's going to learn something here today. You know what? And at this point, guys, I'll tell you the truth. I hope she calls the police. Um, I generally uh, think it's a waste of resources for somebody to call the police. Help. He's got a camera. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, you know, today, let her go call the police. Let the police come by and tell her that she's uh, absolutely out of her mind and to go back to work. And... Uh, should go that way, but you never know, so stand by. And of course we have Rapid City PD driving by, scoping us out. I'm going to definitely assume that she called. What's the real uh, take on that? Were you sticking your, what were you doing? Just walking? I was literally, you see how there's two tiles on the on the sidewalk? Right. I was on the further one the whole time. Oh, well, I know how you roll, so I figured that, but she seemed like a uh, embellisher yeah. all the way. Full send. She's in there on the phone. See her? Interesting. So she's stirring it up. That's good. Sorry? I said, is there a reason you guys are doing this? Oh, I don't do anything without a reason. Of course. I just don't get to You know. just expect me to offer up an explanation of what I'm doing? Is that the case? Problem. Well, I don't know. You ask me if there's a reason what I'm doing, and then you just kind of stare at me like I'm your kid, and I came home late, and I owe you an explanation. So if you want to know something, keep communicating, keep asking the questions, and I'll choose to answer them or not. You're a nice fella. <laughs> yeah. Some people think so. Some people don't. You have a good day, though. I appreciate you. That's like I always say, guys. People are very much followers in this world, and if they see one person getting upset, 
they will choose a side and uh, stick with that side till the end. They'll die on the sword and they don't even know what the argument's about and they don't even know what's going on. So uh, don't be the person to start fires. Mind your business. I've said it a thousand times, I'll say it again. That's, what is the difference between that and me standing out here on the sidewalk asking people what they're doing here at the credit union today? Yeah. And I've, you know what, I've actually got a much better uh, example for you. Watchman and I were talking the other day, and uh, tell me what you think of this. Guy's out mowing the grass, sitting on his riding mower, wherever he is, private property, public property. He's riding around on his thing with his headphones on. He's got his mask on, so he's not inhaling all the grass. And I'm just going to walk up to him, make him shut the machine off, take his hearing protection off, take his mask off, and ask him why he's cutting the grass today. What his purpose is in doing that. It, to me, it's the same thing. It's a uh, picture of the lineman up on the, on, on the electric pole doing his thing, working, and you start screaming up to him. You want to know what he's doing, and he's going to actually put all his tools down, climb down the pole, and explain himself to you. I'm in the middle of doing what I do on a public sidewalk, enjoying my day, living my life. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not speaking to anybody. I'm not getting in anybody's personal space. So as far as I'm concerned, you have absolutely no right to what I'm doing. That's none of your business. If I choose to be uh, informative, then I could certainly tell you. But if I don't want to, why should I have to? Just the same as I couldn't walk up to you and demand answers out of you. It's, uh, it's not right. And some of you will say, well, you know, it's only the right thing to do. Yeah, if you approach somebody right, then you get right back. Um, and you know, it's not just words. It's very easy, like I say, to be passive aggressive and come out with a smile on your face and a happy tone to your voice and be telling somebody to go screw off. Um, that's a simple thing to do. I mastered that years ago when I was probably 12. So uh, don't be fooled by that nonsense. You gotta read between the lines. You gotta really hear what people are saying to you, uh, not what they want you to hear. And uh, a lot of times that's a completely different story. So stay tuned in and here. Well, she started a whole ball of mess. See, now what she should have done was, what would have been the issue if she would have said to her, because I'm sure that member said something to her when she left, the first lady that said something to us? Well, they before I before any of that, just walking by to doing my intro, she was staring at me, or somebody in there was staring at me out the window. So they were already... Well, that's what I was going at. They were yeah. already talking about it inside. So why didn't the lady that runs the bank just say, oh, I don't know what they're doing. They're not on our property. They're out on a public sidewalk. I have no idea. She obviously knows about the public sidewalk thing because she threw that at me. Yeah. So why not just uh, be that way from the beginning and avoid the problem? I think some people like problems and drama. That's why people go to the movies. Will I be in your way if I walk past here? Not at all, but thank you for asking. Okay. Appreciate you. Yeah, no have a great day, brother. You catch that? Well, He's not so friendly anymore because he went inside and heard some of the shit show that's going on in there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Ruining people's day, getting people upset, firing people up. You know, you get somebody, this bank manager here, if she's the manager, whatever she is, bank employee, you could get somebody mad here in this situation, like one of the members, they could get in their car all fired up and get aggravated and go do something stupid when they're driving and create an, I mean, you know, you're not responsible for every ripple after you throw the stone, kind of, but you kind of are. And, uh, you know, morally, maybe you're not legally responsible, but, uh, you know, you are morally responsible for everything you do. And, of course, that moral uh, compass is your own. So uh, you do as you do, but might not be a good idea to go starting fights with people. And you could say, well, you guys are out on the street taking videos. So if anybody started it, you did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. What is wrong with me being out on the street taking video? Think about that. And like I always say, imagine a country where you can't do that. And that's uh, verboten. Scary stuff. I just don't understand why these people put themselves in positions of danger. I mean, it's like, you know, me and a watchman here could be a couple of nutcases. You don't know what, I mean, you, you walk up to people, getting in people's faces, out in public, demanding answers, having a fit. I, it's, I, I don't know what world these people are living in. I really don't. And, you know, I'm sure that people do that and uh, are very sorry they did every day. So uh, it's not a good idea. It's really not. You have to understand, you have to be a big, mature boy or girl, and you have to understand that people in this world are going to do things that you don't understand and you may not approve of. But if they have a right to do it, leave them the hell alone, just like they'll do for you.
We don't all have to understand everything each other does. We don't all have to respect everything each other does. You know, you get to do what you want to do. As long as you're not making a victim out of anybody else, whose business is it really? Think about it. It's very interesting to see how people behave, how they'll treat you, how they'll confront you, how they'll just walk away, how they'll walk down the street singing to themselves at the top of their voice. You know, it's just human behavior is amazing. And I think, uh, you know, all of these, uh, all the vloggers that are out there, uh, travel channels, auditors, anybody that's out on the street, street photographers, street videographers, um, that's some gold, man. That stuff's going to be precious years from now when people can look back and see what was going on in the world in 2022. Uh, just the way we look back and uh, wish there was more video and uh, more stuff to look at from the 1800s, maybe, for example. I'd love to uh, watch Butch Cassidy come ride in on his horse, you know, R pulling up to the uh, saloon and uh, tying his horse up outside to go in for a cool, refreshing drink coming off the trail. But we're never going to see that stuff, so... Granted, uh, I'm giving, you know, the people here in Rapid City might not be as exciting as Butch Cassidy, but nevertheless. How are you? Hey, who are you Sorry? Who are you oh, I heard Alec Baldwin was here. You what? Alec Baldwin. Oh. I heard he was here. It's always something exciting happening when he's around. And I know you're watching, Baldwin. I got intel. Guy had a shirt on that said Puerto Rico. Anybody go down to Rincon to go uh, surfing at all? It's a big surf spot in, uh, in Puerto Rico. Guy that sells, uh, there's a guy down there that sells stickers on the beach. If you run into him, uh, tell him I said hi. And buy a sticker from him. He could use the help. All right, guys, so we're going to go take a walk around the other side of the building here. They have a drive through in the back and uh, see what's going on over there. Give you a full tour of the premises here. So uh, stand by. These folks in Rapid City are just coming out of winter. It's 70 degrees. They're sweltering. They're boiling. Oh, look at the shade over here. Oh, my God. Why didn't you tell me this was here, Watchman? Let me get a shot of the Dakota Mill and Grain plant over there for you. For those of you who have never been to the Rapid City area, I highly suggest you do. Beautiful country out here. I mean, I'm not making a big deal out of it here today because uh, obviously we're in the downtown area. But beautiful, beautiful place Rapid City is. Who's this guy? How are you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Good. Is that your parking spot today? Hey. So you're just deliberately parking in front of me? Yep. Really? You don't want me to be taking any video of the Dakota Mill and Grain plant? No? That's interesting. Yeah. I just want to stare at you. You just want to stare at me? Yeah. I'd prefer you don't. No, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. So you want to tell everybody who you are? Sure. Who are you? I'm the guy that's gonna stare at you. Oh, I, I got that, but I'm saying who are you? I'm the guy that's gonna stare at you. That's all, you're, you're a one-trick pony? Yep. Okay. All right, well, sounds good to me. Yep, see you guys. Oh, there's no see you. I'm gonna be here for quite some time. So will you. So we have South Dakota Commercial Plates. 77933 space V. It's a uh, gray Ford F-150. And uh, for some reason, this guy just wants to park in front of us and have an attitude and do his thing. So he's uh, perfectly uh, within his rights to do that. So what happens if I go over here? Then what do we do? I can't hear you, man. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. See what a puppet you are? Did you figure that out yet?
puppetry, man. I'm the puppet master. How are we doing, guys? Good, All right. Oh, he closed his window. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. It's amazing. So you guys saw that. I'm literally here taking some video of the uh, Dakota Mill and Grain plant. And this guy decides to pull up right in front of me and be a dumbass. So, uh... We'll work with that. All right, well, that's the back side of the credit union, guys. Let's go back around to the front. See, you know what the deal is, right? Papa Chepetto told him that if he could bust a couple of cameramen today, he could become a real boy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Look, come back this way. Hang on one second. There he goes. He's going to get himself into an accident. He's turning back into their parking lot. So there's Pinocchio's truck. No, no worries. Yeah. We're just catching life as it happens, you know? There you go. There you go. Yeah. What time does that show on TV? Oh, it's, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Mine will be up at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Does it really? Yes, sir. On what channel do you? Well, I can't, I can't give you all the information now because uh, I'm in the process of doing what I do, but if you're here afterwards, I'd be happy to tell you. You know what you do? I could find out probably tomorrow morning. Right? Yeah, you know what yeah, you do? I saw you guys on TV on that show. <laughs> What show? About where you go to the post office and you can film. Right on, there you go. All right. Hey, so, because I work tomorrow. You, just do this, go on YouTube tomorrow morning. Okay. After 10 o'clock in the morning, and just punch in Black Hills Federal Credit Union. And I'll find it. I'll probably be one of the top ones that pops up. I'll know it when I see it. You'll now. know when you see it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, for hey, sure. Thanks. All right, buddy, have a good day. Be fun to watch. I swear to God, I, 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 I seriously, seriously, seriously cannot for the life of me Picture myself, because I can only speak for myself. I can't picture myself walking down the street, seeing a couple of guys with cameras and getting angry at them for filming. I, I swear to you, I seriously am not saying that just, for, just to say it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Now, there are ways to be obnoxious with the cameras like there is uh, to be obnoxious with anything else. But uh, if you're just standing on a sidewalk, taking some video of a building or of people walking down the street or whatever and you're just minding your business you're not harassing anybody what the hell is wrong with you people seriously i, I can't imagine myself doing that but uh yeah. i'm getting older so maybe i'll get old and cantankerous one day so all you youngsters out there that are going to pick up a camera down the road watch your ass it's funny because we'll have people in the comments saying oh you're just out there trying to annoy people no matter how many of our videos they've watched you know once in a while i slip up you know, these things are, uh, we're filming live out here. There's no script. I don't know who's coming walking around the corner. I don't know what's going to happen next. I have to think very quickly on my feet. Um, so, you know, always, uh, not always prepared 100% of the time. And I, you know, I made a mistake every once in a while here and there. And, uh, you know, that does happen. When you guys go to the post office and make them uh, read their own rules and regulations. Isn't that a shame that we have to do that? It's unbelievable. Yeah. It really is. And then uh, you were in Colorado one time and went to the sheriff's department. Same thing. Yeah. 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 It happens all the time. I know. You but I appreciate you, man. Awesome, man. Spread the good word. Hey, he's getting big, though. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, he is. I'll have something to lean on when I'm old. Driving you around in your wheelchair. That's it. Still That's it. Oh, I'll have a dash cam on it for sure. What's that? Phil. Oh, I'd rather you don't look at me if you don't mind. All right. All right. Who do you work for? 
Sorry? Who do you work for? I would love to have the conversation with you, but if you could turn around and not look at me, I'll just call the photo. I don't like people looking at me. So I do that to prove a point because what I just said is absurd. And uh, no more or less absurd than uh, somebody asking me not to film them out on a public sidewalk. So just make it a point. It's all, at the end of the day, it's all in good fun. Because even people I get into it with and have a little bit of a, what appears to be an argument with, if they just cooled out, we wound up shaking hands, we could hammer it out. You gotta learn how to get over things. You know, if you get mad at something, let it go in a few minutes, let it go in 15 minutes. Don't carry that shit with you and say, oh, now my entire weekend is ruined. You know that? Okay, you guys, no photos. No photos? No photos. But why, you look so good today. I know. I'm a movie star, you know. A movie star, there you go. Well, keep that attitude. Yeah, right. Keep the smile on your face, too. We I appreciate you. Money. <laughs> That's it, right? No fame, just throw money. Have a good day. Good appreciate you. And you know how many times we've uh, been out and somebody will say, oh, I don't want to be on the camera, don't film me. And I'll, why? Oh, I didn't fix my hair, I'm a mess. I'm too this, I'm too that. My clothes are dirty, this, that, whatever. Get yourself together before you leave your house. You're on camera everywhere you go. From the moment you leave your house, you don't think your neighbors have security cameras? From the time you pull out of your little driveway or your garage or whatever it is, you're on camera, man. People have dash cams. Uh, stores and businesses have security cameras. The police have cameras up all over the place. You have red light cameras. So uh, leave, here's two, two great tips for you that'll bring you much happiness and success in your life. Leave your personal business at home and prepare yourself to go out and face the day. Well, all right, guys, uh, that's gonna wrap this one up. Not much of an explanation needed on anything. No need for one of my big spiels here. I think you get what happened and uh, a lot of different opinions and different attitudes and different behaviors. So uh, all interesting stuff to me. Um, I find it fascinating and I hope you do. And I hope there's a takeaway for you today. And if there is, please share it in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, but honestly, my arms are getting tired from holding this camera up and it's hotter than hell out here standing in the sun. So I'm gonna go find myself a little half tea, half lemonade, cool off in the air conditioning and uh, wrap this day up and uh, go get ready to get this video up tomorrow morning for you. So I uh, always like to remind you guys before we cut out that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you wanna support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know me and the Watchmen are out here every day getting an education, and uh, I wouldn't trade that for the world. I'm making memories with my son and uh, living life to the fullest out here. So uh, I invite you to do the same. Um, but that's it. So also invite you to check out watching the Watchmen's channel here. Kid puts a lot of work into his videos. He's doing really good. If you want to hear his narration, a lot of people ask for it, go check him out on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, go get cooled off, go get refreshed, and uh, we'll be back out again tomorrow, uh, possibly in Rapid City, or we're also thinking about two other cities we might go to. So uh, for now, coming to you from the Black Hills Feder Federal Credit Union in Rapid City, South Dakota, watching a watchman. Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.